Hi, I'm Michelle, and I am back with another text animation for you. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is prep your text. Put each letter in an individual text box. The second thing you want to do is you want to come down to the bottom and duplicate your page. You will see why in a moment. Now we'll go back to your first page. What you want to do is click on your B or your first letter, go into animate. We're going to click our bumblebee and now we're going to do our animation. So I want to go here to here to here to here to here and rest. It's a little sloppy looking, but maybe y'all have better hands than I do. And I always do smooth or steady because I'm not smooth and I'm not steady. So that gives me what I kind of need. I want to speed it up a little bit. I want to push done. So I'm going to come down here and shorten this up a little bit because I don't want to be in that long. So let's make it down to like two and a couple of seconds. Animation is still there. Oh, see, I showed you the second part already. Okay, so now that we have that done, we want to get our letters to disappear. So let's click on this. And what you want to do to make it easy is group your last letters, not your first letter that's bouncing, but the rest of your letters. So we'll group those, get our three dots, go down to show timing. So for some reason, our little timing box is going over our page. So let's line that back up with our page, hit our up button. So now you want to go to your letters. So what you want to do is you want to make sure when your your contact is made, that's where you start. So we're going to keep moving these until we get contact. There's contact. Ooh, 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 come on, baby. There's contact. There's contact. And hit the E. And there we go. So the next thing you do once you have all your contact done is you're going to go into your transitions. Now this transition was left in here, but you want to go and go to match and move. So the reason you're going to push match and move, match and move. And the reason you want to do that is because in that second page, you had it back into its original place. So it's going to take that B that ended in the animation at the end and make it come all the way back to its original spot. So here we go. Let's try it out and see what happens. There you go. And that's how you do that animation. So if you're still interested, I will show you how I did the second part. If you watched the video, little video snippet in the beginning of how a box came across and kind of disappeared the text up into the up here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that we're on page two. And what we want to do is come up to elements and grab a square. So once we grab a square, what we want to do is make it where it covers all of the text. We want to make sure that all of the text is covered. And then what we're going to do here, I'm going to go in a position to make sure that I am grabbing nothing but the square. I am going to come over here and drag it as far to the edge as possible. You have to leave some within the page or it will not animate because you have to have something on the physical page to animate. So we're going to come grab our animation button and then we're going to click our bumblebee, hold our shift key down. And what we're going to do is we're going to come across like so. Until our text is going, it's a little stumbly. Oh, that was very fast. All right, let's do steady. I think the speed might be okay. All right, let's uh, look and see how that speed's looking. All right, so now that we have that there, what we want to do now is duplicate this page. So once we have the page duplicated, we want to take our box. We want to remove the animation, so delete that path. We want to come in here and we want to, no, we don't want the bumblebee still there. Delete that path. Let's click out of animation. 
and move our box, cover our text. And then what we want to do is go on position and we want to delete our letter, all our letters. So let's delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it, delete it. Delete it. That way we know where in the spot we need to be in. Then what we want to do now that we have that deleted, we want to go in here and shorten this box up like so. And then what we want to do is we want to go and duplicate this page again. And then what we want to do is go up this away. And then what we want to do now is duplicate this page again. As you see, our match and move is going with us. This is all match and move and not the bumblebee animation. So now we want to get this all the way up. You're going to have to leave a little bit on there, but we will cover those up with black boxes. So now that we have that animation down, what we want to do is take our pages that have those animations in it and we want to shorten them up. We want to go as far down as we can. We want to go all the way down to that 0.1 seconds. So let's see what it looks like. Let's start from the end of our bounce. Go back up and there you go. And that's how you do that little trick. And then all you need to do for this one where it is over here, click into here, we just go in elements and just get a little box, turn it black, move it over on top to hide that. And then at the end, you do the same thing. You just go over here, get your box, turn it black, move it up, and hide this one over here. And then that'll give you, and that'll give you that whole technique. And for this, all I did was put my letters at the top and just use the animation and made them fall to the bottom. Used the timing, uh, took the letter out, and put the splat in at the time as soon as the letter went out. So it evade the splats. Very simple. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and uh, we'll, I'll reach out to you, and we can work it out together if that's something you want to try to do. Um, other than that, thank you for coming. I appreciate everything y'all do by coming and watching my videos. and. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. If there's anything I can do better, please leave it in the comments. And please consider subscribing. Thank you guys. Until next time. Bye.